did you just call me, young lady? Don't change the subject. You said I can't go to school. No problem. I, I said won't. you can't go to school looking like that. Kitty, what were you thinking buying that for her? That she would wear it the way it was supposed to be worn. I need to express myself. You look like a... Uh, I think the word you're actually looking for is a Harujuku girl. Oh my God, I can't believe you just said that. Look, I have no idea what you people are talking about. Don't we have much to teach each other? It may be grasshopper, but you should be heading to school right now. So, okay, now I want you to untie the knot, let the shirt fall, wear it the so way you're supposed to wear it. See, it looks cute, just like that. You know, you should be grateful for Katie for buying that for you. Mm. You're a lucky kid, okay? You could be stuck with some old fogies. We are yeah, cool. you're okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. But right now, you're going to be late for your first day, so let's go. Guys, Come seriously, on. though, do we really have to do this whole school thing? Because there are a lot of better ways to learn. Like what? Uh, like the school of life. I mean, <laughs> you know, you could actually teach me the TV biz. I could go to work with you. Oh, I don't know about that. Kim hires all the interns, and she only hires college kids. That is discrimination. That is discrimination. She only wants the best. So good luck getting hired anywhere without a high school education. Ooh, you know what? We could do homeschooling. <gasps> oh, that's a, oh, that's a great idea. No, we have full-time jobs. Okay, online classes or GED? No, I went through a lot of trouble to get you in the school, and you are going. Fine. Yes. But I just want to let you know it's not going to work out. Good. That's great. Keep the positive attitude. Are you going to at least feed me first? Yeah, you know what? I need to take a shower. So, Brad, why don't you take Liberty over to Al's and I'll see you at work. Works for me. I'm not going to be able to handle this alone. You will be fine. I'm Call me if you need me. I'm going to kill you. Call me. I want the works. Pancakes, eggs, bacon. No time. Milk muffin. Get it to go. That is not healthy. Who says? Carp City, dude. You should want me to have right nutrition. I mean, you're my father. All right, dude. We're just making a whole wee muffin then, all right? Parker, there you go. Ah, hey, Tony Hawk. Ah. <laughs> go order your stuff, okay? I need to talk to Parker. Yeah, I do. I need to talk to you. I'm going to be there for school. Okay, I know that's exactly what this is about. I need your help. I need you to look after Liberty, okay? She doesn't know anyone. She might be a little freaked out. Her? Yeah, her. I mean, if you see her wandering around the halls, looking sad and lonely, I just need you to help her. You know, I, I somehow, I kind of doubt that's going to happen, but yeah, sure. All right, thanks, bud. All right. So you guys really know how to take your time around here. Are you trying to make me late for my first day of school? Because... Who was that... Teenage girl that you bought breakfast. Uh, does Katie know about this place? And get your mind out of the gutter. Now listen to me. You put me in a very awkward position here. Katie is my best friend. She's mine too. All right. I'm not doing anything wrong. I love my wife. That girl just she may be. I mean, it's not definite or anything. I'm just trying to, you know, spit it out, man. She may be my daughter. You're. Look, okay, don't make me say it again. I'm still eating. <laughs> what are you kidding me? No, you, uh, you, you have a teenage offspring. Maybe. She just showed up. She showed up, and she said that you're her... We had a DNA test done. And? It hasn't come back yet. So you, uh, you knew her mother in the biblical sense. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that would be an amen. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> what's, uh, what's the young lady's name? Liberty. That's interesting. The thing is, I think I'm expected to take care of her. Yeah, that's usually how these things go. I'm clueless here, Henry. You know, but what about you? I mean, you, you practically raised a teenage girl. What's it like? Be afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> ah, hey, tough guy. Come over here and tell these losers that I am just way out of their league. Hey guys, what's up? She's all talk and no action, isn't she, Snyder? Oh, wanna test me? Yeah, definitely. You ready to put your money where your mouth is? Bad idea, guys. Come on, let's get back. You're gonna miss third period. You can't cut class on your first day. <laughs> what I can't do is walk away from it there. 
Living with a teenage girl is uncharted territory. There is no way to know what they are thinking at any given moment. And if you are lucky enough to sort of figure it out, they will change their minds. They are run by some impenetrable, unknowable, random X factor that we will never, ever, ever understand. That's not just teenage women. That's women, period. Yeah, yeah, but it's worse with the young ones, man, because we're supposed to be responsible for them. And they love messing with us. They love it. The grown women, they, they, they want us to figure them out. They expect that. But teenage girls, they're elusive on purpose. Okay, what about Maddie? I mean, she was cool. She was smart. She was smart. It made it, it, made it three times worse. Because I, I forgot that she was just a kid. They like to pretend like they know everything when really they're just innocents. Until they're guilty. They, they need a strong hand. See, that's exactly the way I've been dealing with liberty. I mean, I've been like tough love. But Katie says I, I, I've been too hard on her. My advice is, and from my experience, if you want that one to grow up, to be an adult reasonably unscathed, you lock her away until she's about 40. Thanks for the encouragement. Hey, hey, look on the bright side. Maybe she's not your daughter. Liberty, you don't want to mess with these guys. But they were the ones messing with me. I mean, I was just taking a walk, and then they followed me. You want the money? Mm -hmm. Jump into the reservoir. That water's freezing. She said she's not afraid of any... <laughs> Jump into the water? Really? Is that all you could come up with? Don't be stupid, Liberty. Okay. 20 bucks each. Well, where is it? Hand over the money. You want to get kicked out of school on your first day? We're not even on school grounds. Okay, first you want to cut class, and now you want to jump into the reservoir I stand to make between the police and the principal. Here. Parker. Okay. You're boring me now, so where's the money? Yeah, and let you run off with it. Okay, have Parker hold the money. He's in on it. Hardly. Okay, fine. Deal's off. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> wait, Liberty, wait, 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 wait. Okay, just take a second thank You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Who says I don't want to? Katie and Brad. Mm. They could do it as a part of their TV show. Tune in tomorrow and watch Katie and Brad trying to run a diner. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> I think uh, Katie and Brad have uh, a lot more other things on the plate at the moment. Like what? Like the potential pitter patter of the little feet. <gasps> Katie's pregnant? No. Uh, Brad's the one with child. That, uh, if his DNA matches up. If it does, uh, that girl is going to be a handful. No rhyme. You can tell whoever you want because, well, I don't care. Why the payoff? Because you pushed those guys into upping the ante. And if you hadn't have been there, they'd never have paid up, and I would just be as wet and broke as I was before. So, take it. You deserve it. I don't know. Oh, come on. I can get more. Doing what? Whatever. It's 50 bucks. Come on. Think of it as a little cash infusion. Hazard pay for the whole skateboard thing. Okay, because you did waste my time by sending me to the hospital. And as they say, time is money. Time is money. <laughs> so come on, let's go. Let's go spend it. What's wrong? Come on, what's wrong? Some stress. I'm just a little preoccupied with the whole liberty thing. You and me both, but now that she's in school, we don't have to worry about her for what, at least a, a few hours? So happy you're here. Why are you all wet? And why aren't you in school? I was until gym class. You know those stories about the mean girls in the locker rooms? No. Yes. Well, they ganged up on me. They shoved me around and they stuffed me into a shower and turned it on. What the hell? Are you, are you serious? Of course you're serious, Brad. How did you get away? I don't know. I, I just did. And yeah, I, I don't know. I fought back and I started running out the door of the school and Parker found me. And I, I, he gave me his jacket so I wasn't flashing everybody. It was really nice of you, Parker. Yes, it was. Thank you, Parker. Did you bust some heads? 
In the girls' locker room? Would you want to beat up the girls that did this to her? Yeah. No, Brad, that's totally inappropriate. Right, okay, well, yeah, okay. Uh, you do a good job anyway. Thanks for looking after her like I asked you to. No problem. You are becoming such a little gentleman, Parker. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, bud.